Hi, today I'd like to show you how you can create, edit and distribute macros with Virtusurf. First of all, you can have a button where you can reach a website with predefined macros which you can use with Virtusurf. We have a README PDF which explains which macros are available and we have those packages of zip files which you can select from and download. And then you unzip the um, file which you downloaded and you have a txt file which you can then import in Virtusurf. To do so you run open the macros bar, for instance the AutoCAD macros bar, hit import macros, select the txt file you just downloaded from our website, open it and you get the list of macros which are in this package. You can select them separately or all together for import. You have two buttons to import them. Import, And then you will, should find them on the right hand side in the list. If you hit OK you have them in the bar. Next we show you how you can edit a macro template with your Virtusurf. We have the macros bar. All you need to do is right click on the macro template you want to edit to open it and uh, here you can see this uh, macro for inserting a line on a certain layer. We have placeholders called my layer for the actual layer name. You can change the text for the button in this editor. You can also change the size for the macros button, the width and the height of it as you can see here, and uh, you can enter a tooltip which is displayed when you hover with the mouse over the macros button and uh, of course you can also change the macro name. Here uh, we have uh, the notation for the AutoCAD command and we will replace the my layer placeholder with the actual layer name. We name it wall because we want to draw uh, lines for the walls in AutoCAD. So we, all we need to do is copy wall and replace my layer by the new name. Then you see that there is the line command called up in AutoCAD. So really this is a notation of, of the AutoCAD command line which we use inside the macros editor. Now we change the text for the button. Hit also wall here. Hit OK and you see the name on the button has changed and we can now uh, use our macro together with AutoCAD and see how it works. Let me just open a new AutoCAD drawing. A metric one in this case and you can see that this is an empty drawing with just the layer 0. No other layers uh, have been defined yet. Then I go to what you serve, run the line command and you see it's started in AutoCAD. I pick the points in the VirtuServe window and the coordinates are transferred. Then I cancel the command. If I zoom to extend I can hit the button in VirtuServe and we, and we can see the lines which we have just drawn with the coordinates from the laser scan. And you can see that automatically a new layer named wall has been created over here in AutoCAD just by using our um, macro, which is a macro. After you've shown how to you can edit a macro. We like to demonstrate how you can create your own macro in Virtusurf. To do so, hit the new macro button. You see we have an empty macro in the um, assistant. You can type in a text for the button. And we like to create a macro for drawing circles with Virtusurf. So the text on the button is a circle and we like to draw it with three points. Um, on the circle circumference, we copy the text for the button uh, for macro name and we enter a tooltip. Draw circle 
three points by three points on the circumference. So this is a tooltip which will be um, displayed when you hover with the mouse over the button in the macros bar. And now we enter the macro definition. Here we follow the AutoCAD notification. First we cancel all commands which might be active in AutoCAD. Then we enter uh, roof and M for enter button. Then underscore circle for the uh, general uh, command in AutoCAD. And to feed the command with coordinates we need to add the placeholders for uh, one uh, or more coordinates. So here we select the placeholder for one 3D coordinate because circles are drawn by one 3D coordinate and then two more coordinates in 2D. So here we have the first coordinate entered for the circle command. One 3D coordinate. Then we copy and paste and paste again and replace the 3 by a 2. And then we can save the command. We can change the button size once more if we want to and save uh, our defined macro. And then we should definitely test the, mac the macro if we got the notification right. So we need some experience in um, and in the AutoCAD command line notification. So circle command has been started, but um, command needs and that we enter the correct option. So we cancel the command once more and and again edit our macro and um, add the option for 3D points. So we, after the command circle we need to hit enter by roof and M and then we enter the option and then enter in the placeholder for an enter again. Now we try our macro once more. So now we are with our correct option and we are asked for three points to draw the circle. And that is it. Finally, we like to show you how you can export macros in order to share them um, with your colleagues and to transfer them to other uh, computers for usage. So you hit the export macros button, go to macros, say OK and the text file is, is stored there. Then um, you can use it to import it on the other machine.